We're looking at the New Brunswick, New Jersey metropolitan area housing market in today's regional analysis video. This is an area that was requested by one of our viewers a while back. I said I would get to them all. That's what I intend to do. If there's a housing market in the United States you're interested in, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I'll make sure to add you to the list. Now, let's get straight into the housing data and see what's going on for residential real estate in the New Brunswick metropolitan area. Let's get into it. The median price in the New Brunswick metro area was 451000 as of February, the latest data available from Redfin, a national real estate brokerage. This is down 2.4% since its peak in July 2022. Compared to the U.S. overall, the median price in New Brunswick is a little bit higher than the national average, which was $401,000 in February, and it has trended much the same way as the U.S. median price price is also down 2.4% from its respective peak. This is a very moderate decline compared to markets like Austin, Texas and the San Francisco Bay Area, where prices have fallen by more than 10% since their 2022 peaks. Now, let's take a look at the supply and demand indicators for the market, as well as affordability trends to see if we can get a sense of where this market is headed. On the supply side of the market, inventories have been rising but are still relatively low from a historical perspective. At the current pace of sales, the existing inventory would be exhausted in about two and a half months as of February, which is up from the recent low point of one and a half months back in March of 2021. We could very well see inventories tighten up a bit as new listings continue to head lower with no sign yet of leveling out or reversing course. On the demand side, we see an all too familiar story as home sales have plummeted in the wake of the surge in mortgage rates in 2022. We did see a slight uptick in February as buyers took advantage of mortgage rates that retreated a bit from the peak of around 7% last year. Homes are staying on the market increasingly longer, hitting an average of 50 days in February, a far cry from the low of 23 days back in 2021. The sale to list price ratio maintains its downward trajectory and is now sitting just below 100, meaning that on average, the homes that are transacting are selling below list price. In terms of affordability, the average housing payment as a share of income was at 35.6% in February, down slightly from the recent peak of 38.7% back in October. But as you can see here, affordability has become a big issue in this market as this metric is hovering at levels not seen since the last housing bubble. The supply and demand indicators aren't looking good for the New Brunswick metro market as they suggest that demand continues to weaken and that's because homes are just so unaffordable for the average buyer because of the surge in mortgage rates that took place over the last year. Where does it go from here? I think we're likely to see the median price continue to head lower, but because of the tight supply and the very moderate price declines we've seen so far, it doesn't look like the New Brunswick housing market is going to completely collapse anytime soon or at all. For the market to get back into balance, it's going to take mortgage rates to come down further, which is unlikely to happen because the Federal Reserve is not likely to lower their Fed funds rate until the end of this year. If you want to know more about where I see things trending for the Federal Reserve, inflation, and mortgage rates, check out my video I released earlier in the year. Since that release, the Fed has performed pretty much exactly as anticipated, and inflation has been in line with my expectations as well, so I haven't had the need to update my mortgage rate forecast yet. If you're in the New Brunswick metropolitan area, let me know in the comments section down below what are you seeing in the local market? And make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and neighbors if they also want to get some insights into the latest housing market data for their area. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell down below so you know right away when my next video comes out. I focus on forward-looking real estate analysis on this channel for the U.S. overall, as well as regional markets. If you're interested in what the data is looking like for another area of the U.S., leave that in the comments section below and I'll add you to the list. And before you go, please leave this video a thumbs up to support the channel and help it grow. 
Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.